What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Bring Young, and you are tuning in to the most award-winning talk show in Memphis, Atlanta, and Mobile, Alabama. Of course, all of the trophies are in the background. I said we're award-winning, talking about Brink TV. Now, do not adjust your TV set. We got a brand-new face kicking it with us on the White Couch tonight. And, hey, he just as decorated as I am because he is the champion the champ is here, like John Cena say. I'm talking about the homie Rockstar Row. What's happening with you? Yeah, y'all know what's going on. It's Rockstar Row in the bill. Yes, sir. Hey, first and foremost, I got to say thanks for coming on the show. It means a lot to have you kicking with us with on the White Couch, man. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Believe that. Now, like I did mention at the top of this interview, the champ is here. We're talking about the champ of the rap-offs. Now, of course, y'all remember a little while ago, we had Lagodi Music on the show. The homie Cody Crazy, he was talking about the rap-offs battle. We're talking about first of his kind here in Memphis. He said that the winner will actually win a championship belt and they'll have to defend it. Well, hey, this is the winner. Now, of course, on that interview, I did say that I'm going to make sure that the winner come on the Bring TV show. And here we are. So we got plenty to talk about, man. Let's get into it. So how long you been doing music? Well, I've been doing music for about two years now, since like 2018. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's dope. All right, so let's talk about growing up, man. Like, what was it like growing up for you? You from Memphis, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, let's talk about growing up in Memphis. What was it like? Yeah, growing up, I'm going to be real. I know, like, like a lot of people, they they might, you know, had a bad upcoming. But me, we struggled, you know, we yeah. regular black. Yeah. You know, struggled lights off, stuff like that. But uh, it was pretty good. Like, I really can't complain because it made me who I am now. I feel you. I feel you. Well, hey, it made you this beast that is in front of us right yes, now. Sir. We're yes, talking sir. about the champion Rockstar Rose. So let's go ahead and get into who did you have in your headphones coming up? Like, who were you listening to? Uh, I had people like Young Dolph, uh, Yo Gotti, uh, you know, people like that. I feel you. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. So let's go ahead and talk about the hit song that you got out here. Yeah. It's blazing. I mean, everybody's on it, you know, and I like it. I personally like yeah. it, you know, because I saw the video, and the video got so much energy. It's so live. We talking about Memphis Stump. Yes, sir. Man, that song is really turned up proof. Like, it's it's, it's, it's doing numbers out here. Saw it, like I said, on YouTube, it's doing numbers. Where did that song come from, man? Well, you know, uh, Three C's Mafia, they they the ones that created it like so many years ago. But me, I just wanted to, you know, bring something out and modernize it. So I chose that. Then we just been pushing it ever since. I made the song back in January, but I uh, shot the video back in May. So I just, you know, been pushing it ever since. Man, that song is definitely caught fire. Like I say, it's all over y'all. Make sure y'all look it up on YouTube right now. You know, that was actually, was that the song that, that won you the championship better? I mean, let's talk about well, it. Man. Okay. So so my first song, it was Memphis Stump. I just okay. wanted to go ahead and crush one with Yeah, you, you did. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah. shade, but yeah. you did. Yeah, you know, we're going to keep it humble. But yeah. then, like, I got plenty of music. Like, I got about three, four, five mixtapes ready. Okay. Know? Of music that I could drop at any time. Yeah. So, like, I just chose three three other songs. I really I really could have used any of my songs because all of them hard. But yeah, Memphis Stone was the one that just you know solidified yeah. it. It crushed. It definitely set the tone. I actually watched a live uh, stream of that, and as soon as I saw you perform, it's like it was different from anything else that I've seen the whole night. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, this guy, he got it in the bag. You know, yeah. like you definitely did your thing. So let's go ahead and talk about. But you, you actually got to defend that too, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Wait yeah. a minute. So you got to defend the title? Yes, sir. They got to come get it back from me. Oh. I, I, I highly doubt that anybody, you know, can. Come take it from me, but they can come try. Hey, the champ is here. Like I say, he is here. And that's that's gonna be in January, right? Yes, sir. Okay, hey, for more information on that, y'all can check out his social media or just check out Cody Crazy's social media for that. Now let's go ahead and get into the beginning stages of your music career, man. Off camera you was talking about your dad actually got you in the music, but it was an interesting way how he did it. Let's talk about it, man. Yep, I'm a um uh, I'ma just, you know, say shout out to my dad. You know, he's been pushing me ever since the beginning. That's that's who I get it from. That's, you know, that's who been pushing me, making me who I am today since the beginning. Been at every show. I don't care if it was one or two people late at night, had to work the next morning. He was there at every show. Shout out to him. Most deal. So how did he get you started in music, man? Uh, well, you know, first it was me and my cousin. He was doing music. I, I don't know. I think I was playing sports or something. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, 
he was always, you know, going to the studio. He asked me to come with him one day. He and my dad, he was working with him at the time. So, of course, me, I, I just want to go see what it's about. So I went to the studio with him, and then I like started getting interested in it. But this whole time, I used to people don't know I used to be like real shy. I didn't want to say anything. Like in school, I was quiet, didn't say nothing, nothing at all. So then. Um, Later on in life, I just, you know, broke out of my shell, and then I just started turning up. And then, like, with the music, um, at first, we was, he just took me to the studio. He helped me do my first song, and ever since then, we've just been taking off with it. Man, that's dope, man. I, I think it's amazing that your father is very instrumental in your career. You know, a lot of people barely have managers, you know what I'm saying? But to have your dad... You know, backing you and supporting you, I think that's phenomenal. Now, let's go ahead and talk about um, something that kind of, you know, transpired recently. You know, of course, definitely go say shout out to the homie Duke Deuce, but you guys actually had a couple words on social media, man. What was going on? Oh, uh, yeah, that was just a little, uh, you know, petty misunderstanding. We all good now. Uh, if you ever came up, came up to me or, you know, hit me up, we would definitely be able to do a song. Uh, There's no beef. You know, we're good. Believe There's too much it. stuff going on in Memphis right now. We need to try to work together and keep the hostility down. You know, believe that. I yes, love sir. it. I love it. And like I told you off camera, man, it was. I thought it was phenomenal how your pops jumped in and was like, "Hey, we need to have a battle. We not finna take it mm -hmm. to the streets. We finna, hey, song for song. Let's see who the hottest. You know. And yeah. I think that's that's coming from a, a, a genuine place. You know, like I say, and not to sh throw no shade on the, the new generation or nothing like that. You know, but I mean, a lot of young cats they don't think like that. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes it take the OGs to step in and be like, Nah, nah, this ain't the way. But show y'all a better way that way hey we can all get this money you yeah, know let me let me interrupt you real quick i actually do want to like i want to challenge him like okay. on your show i know you oh. got like a lot of people watching okay so i want to like i want to challenge do do you know, <laughs> oh, we man. can go song for song yeah or, you know performance for performance however you want to do wow it. hey that would be phenomenal hey duke deuce hey you heard it here first on the brink tv show when too long ago you was on this white couch, so hey, might have to go on here and answer that challenge, man. Hey, we got championship contenders in the building, so hey, you might want to do that. All right, so let's talk about um, you're actually a part of a group as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, yeah, it's me and my brother, A Star. He new to the rap scene, but he just as hard as anybody. Yeah, um, we the Go Boys, okay, we just started that, shot the video. Uh, a few days ago, it's gonna be dropping soon. Okay, uh, y'all can look forward to that. We just started. We a new group, so I need y'all, you know, to support it, support us just like you support me. Believe that, and that's the Go Boys anthem. Yep, and I want to uh, say shout out to Boo Lucky. That's my best friend. Um, she got this song called Boo Lucky Anthem. You know, it's trending right now for all the ladies out there. Yeah, it's boo bitch. I feel you. I feel you. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the hip hop scene in Memphis right now, man. Where do you feel we are? We we the hottest thing out right now. I want to say shout out to every Memphis artist that's out there doing their thing. Shout out to uh, Z Dog, you know, with the rap off. Shout out to Cody Crazy putting that on. Um, pretty much Memphis, we we the hottest thing out right now. We on fire. Everybody is hard. We vibe off each other. We need to stop all the beef and the hostility. We need to just work together. It's time to put that in the past. You know, it's going to be 2021 in a month. Let's go ahead and t take Memphis to the top. Yes, sir. I'm with that. I'm with that. All right, so outside of music, man, like what you be into in your spare time? Um, in my spare time, I try to, like, work on, like, more dance moves. I try to, like, uh, I do a lot of reading, too. People don't know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in my lyrics, I be, like, kind of real lyrical, too, right. if you go listen to it. And, um, you know, I just, you know, just try to stay out the way, keep working on music, stay in the studio, stay, you know, doing videos every other week. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm working too, you yeah, know, because yeah. this ain't fun in itself. I feel you, yeah, I but feel I got you. my dad to back me on that, so yeah. you know, we work. It's all love, man. So, all right, as far as as far as uh, booking information, like anybody want to book you for any shows or performances, or want to do a feature with you, like what's the best way they can contact you about that? Um, you can contact my dad at g m e n t at gmail dot com. And then you can also contact um, BCF. Shout out to Rico Owen. Shout out to Cherry True. Uh, yeah, that's my family right there. Yeah, you can contact them too. You can uh, hit them up on Messenger or anything like that. Shout out to Boo Lucky. Shout out to A Star. And I think it might be pretty 
safe to say that we might see you at the next Memphis Hip Hop Awards. Do oh, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to be there turning yeah. the crowd up. Yeah, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in the building to believe that. All right, so go ahead and run all your social media before we get out of here, man. Um, okay, on Facebook, you can find me at Roman Sanders. And then on everything else, you can find me at Rockstar Row. I want to say shout out to S1 News as well. You know, that's that's what we push it to. Believe that, believe that. Last question I got for you, my man. Let's say there's an aspiring artist watching this interview, but they're thinking about giving up. What advice would you have for them? Man, keep pushing. I'm telling you, like, it's been days where I didn't want to give up. I didn't think it was going to go nowhere. Then they go, God, right there, bless me. You know, and then some big that came. So that's, that's what kept me pushing. Then... You know, you're going to have people that's coming behind you that you can say this same thing to sitting on this uh, this uh, couch. Yes, sir. And not only just sitting on the couch, but sitting on the couch is the champion. Yes, We're talking about the undisputed heavyweight champion of the Memphis world. You know what I'm saying? Soon to be global. global. But y'all make sure y'all check out the homie Rockstar Road. Like I say, he got amazing stuff going on as far as music and as far as being a, a humble person. You know, I, I dig your humility, man. I really mean Thank that. You know, you. so with that being said, now back to more Brink TV.